So since we haven't done this before, I thought we would try and giving the babies their first taste of lemon. We are just having our coffees. Felix is down here doing a puzzle. Well done. What is, I don't know what that means, sweetie. Can you use your words? Oh, it looks like it goes here. What's that one? What animal is that? Do you know what animal that is? Can you tell me? Last one, Felix. Wow, good job. He did most of those all by himself. Mommy only helped with about two. Where's the cat? Here. That's right. And where is the piggy? Here. That's right. And where's the doggy? It's a bit hard to see. Here. When it... That's right. It's a bit hard to see when some of them are upside down. Isn't it? Yeah, goose a duck. It's a duck, I think, sweetie. Can you say ducky? Not sure if that's a goose or a duck. I think it's a duck. Hey, Evan. What? Can you tell me about what you've been doing here? Um, coloring in. Coloring in? Yeah. Did you make this coloring in page all by yourself? Yeah. So you've drawn the outlines? Yeah. And you've given yourself a key here, haven't you? And what's the picture of? A dragon. A dragon. Wow. I can't believe you did this all by yourself. This was meant to be a fire. Meant to be fire? It looks like fire. So yes, that was Evan's colouring in. He came up with the idea to do it all by himself. He has done um, colouring in sheets like that where it has like a little letter or number to kind of tell him what colour to colour in which piece of the drawing, if that makes sense. So I guess he wanted to make one himself and I think it's very cute. <laughs> You did it. You finished? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I really love all the colours. And what were you doing over here earlier? Um, I was playing with this puzzle. You were doing the puzzle? Yeah. You did it like three times, didn't you? Yeah. Can you please break this for me? Do you want to start again? Yeah. Okay. Well, that, these were honest bits. Oh, and you want to start again? Yeah. I need to play all these. You can do that, sweetie. No, I can't. Oh, sorry, Daddy, can you please do that? No, I can see you're doing a good job at it yourself. Mm. I don't do all these long bits. No, you know how, and sometimes when we want to do something, we've got to prepare for it, and that takes a long time as well, sometimes. Do you understand? Yeah. <sighs> And now Otto's doing this puzzle. Oh, you just finished. Good job. Do you like this one? What's your favorite piece? This one. What's that? Piggy. A piggy. Do you know what noise a piggy makes? Oink. Oink. <laughs> oh, that does sound a bit like a piggy. Don't you think? Yeah. What animal do you think is the largest? That one. And what animal do you think is the smallest? This one. Yeah, that one does look like the smallest. Although that's a rabbit. And I think in real life, this one might be smaller, hey? This one's a mouse. Do you think mice are smaller than rabbits? Yeah. Yeah. I want to do it again. You want to do it again? Yeah. I'm going to do it right here. Okay. Can you probably do it all? Hold on a second. <laughs>
Where is it? Have you checked on the floor? Now you're actually done. Yay! Looks great, sweetie. What is it? Spaceship. A spaceship. And what are these? Planets. Planets. Do you know which one we live on? What's it called? Earth. Yep. Alright guys, I'm just cooking some dinner. Uh, I've got some brown rice and some quinoa on. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to make just yet. We do get asked quite a bit to share recipes with you guys and when we do cook in the vlogs. A lot of the time you guys want to know the recipe to what we cook. And the reason we haven't shared a lot of recipes is because a lot of our cooking is actually just like as you go sort of cooking. So we don't really follow a lot of recipes. We kind of look up, we look at recipes. We've got a few recipe books and we look online sometimes for some inspiration. And we probably should follow recipes more often, but sometimes I find it's just really easy just to do something really simple. So yes, right now we're cooking some brown rice and some quinoa. And I'm not too sure what I'm gonna make just yet, but something pretty simple and easy, I think. Pearly, what have you got? What have you got, Pearly? What have you got? Pearly loves pushing this little wagon around. And she especially loves all these little Oh Ruthless, it's a hard life, isn't it? And she especially loves all these little itty bitty things that they got for Christmas. There's six of them, so they have one each, but Pearlie's pretty much claimed them all. She likes pushing them around, she likes cuddling them, and she likes lining them up all in a row, don't you, Pearly? Do you want to line them up like this? She loves doing that. Yeah, that's the flash. Do you want to put that down here too? Yeah, that's Captain America. You can have Captain America. Look, it matches your dress. <laughs> Superman. So since we haven't done this before, I thought we would try and giving the babies their first taste of lemon. Are you ready to try your very first lemon? Here you go, hands. What do you think about that, Henry? Is that good, buddy? Is that good? <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> All right, Kelly, do you want to have your first try of lemon? How do you like it, Pearl? Is it yum? Do you want more? <laughs> She's reaching out for more. Pearl, you've got some. What? Pearl, you got some. <laughs> She's a little confused, but I think she likes it. All right, Rufus, are you ready for your very first lemon? Oh, wrong way. What do you think, Rufus? Is it good? Rufus, do you like it? <laughs> do you like it, babe? <laughs> what do you think, Rufus? So it looks like all the babies like lemon. I remember trying the lemon thing with the older three when they were babies, like even younger, and they all liked it too. I was always like, what's wrong with my babies? Why do they like this? How is it? 
Do you like lemons? Mm, yummy. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yum. Hey Felix, how is it? Mm -hmm. Yummy? That's good. <laughs> oh, use your spoon, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, half the things we try and feed her, she doesn't really like. So, <laughs> hell. Yeah. What about the boys? Do they like it? Yeah, they like it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. And what about you, Pearl? Do you want another try? No. Nope. <laughs> Pearl, what are you going to eat then if you don't want your dinner? Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Pearly. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, she really doesn't like it. She's a bit of a picky one. She's a bit of a picky one. She's a bit of a picky one. Well, five out of six ain't too bad. At least all the boys like it. Just one picky little lady. All right, so dinner was pretty easy tonight. We just made some brown rice with some quinoa. I um, chopped up some baby spinach and mixed that in. Also added in a few big spoonfuls of nutritional yeast and just added some cumin, added an avocado in there and also half a lemon's worth of lemon juice and stirred it all around, didn't we? So yes, um, an easy but effective one, packed full of lots of protein and iron, and the nutritional yeast is fortified with all the B vitamins like B12, so lots of good stuff in that dinner. Why don't you want to eat your dinner? <laughs> Pearl. Pearl. Why are you cheeky monkey? All right, guys, we are going to say goodnight, aren't we? No. <laughs> Good night. Bye. 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 Don't forget to subscribe. No. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Bye. 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 Okay guys, it is time to answer our daily Q&A. So for today's question, Alex asks, how did you guys decide to become vegetarians slash vegans? Were you all row vegetarians before having kids? Love to hear more about it. I love your videos. All right, so Ro and I became vegetarian in April 2014, I think. So that was just a few months before Felix was born. We did for a couple of months try to go straight into a vegan diet, but we weren't really successful with that because we just hadn't researched enough about it and we didn't feel confident that we were getting all the nutrients we need from uh, plant-based foods at the time. So after our failed attempt to eat a vegan diet, we went back to eating meat like we were before. And then a few months after that, when I just really wasn't happy with that, we decided to go vegetarian instead to kind of just, you know, try to do as best as we could without completely throwing ourselves in the deep end, I suppose. So yeah, so since um, April 2014, we've been vegetarian. And we've kind of been thinking about switching to a fully vegan diet for quite a while now. So at the moment, we are eating a completely vegan diet besides from when we eat something out. When we eat out, we still might get something with cheese, but we don't have any non-vegan products or food at home anymore, I don't think, unless I'm forgetting something. But anyway, um, but yeah, so since researching it a lot more you know over the past few years i just feel a lot more confident about what we're doing and yeah in my teenage years i also did try to eat vegetarian and vegan a couple of times as well because it has just been something that has always been somewhat important to me and as i got more into it and talked to ro about it he was totally on board and interested in you know following a vegetarian and vegan diet with me 
and then obviously we would feed the kids what we're feeding ourselves so so yes that's when we became vegetarian and you know a little more background about wanting to be vegetarian and wanting to be vegan so hopefully that answers the question and thanks so much for asking a question and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye